Salut tout le monde et bienvenue à la Inch Fluent. Je suis Ria, votre enseignante la langue française ici et aujourd'hui on va apprendre les couleurs. Hello everybody and welcome to Language Fluent. I am Ria, your language instructor at Language Fluent and today we are going to learn, today we are, I am going to teach you the colors that is les couleurs. Les couleurs. The colors. Alright, so let's begin with few colors first and then we can go for the examples of there and then we can move forward all right so let's begin with few colors that is the very primary color blue blue is being called as blur 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 not blur uh, not at all blue but yes blur 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 in masculine as well as feminine as well blur but we will add an extra e here because we uh, in feminine we always add an uh, an extra e for making uh, the color or anything in feminine all right so uh, blue 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 and then we have green these are very basic colors first we will learn them and then we can move forward with other colors as well green Green is vert, 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 vert. Red is rouge, 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 and then rouge as well. I mean, uh, it pronounces the same and it looks similar as well because there is an e. We don't need to put an extra that is double e with a uh, feminine case of rouge. Rouge is red. Rouge is red. Then we have black that is noir, 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 noir. White is blanc, 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 blanche, 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 blanche with extra e and also with an h. All right. So yes, we have blanc, blanc, and blanche, blanche. Then we have yellow color. Yellow is being called as jaune, jaune, jaune in French, and I mean in the feminine case as well we call it as jaune. All right. So let's move on with few uh, examples. So yes, before moving forward, I must tell you one thing here that there is a color where we uh, do add an extra e that is an additional e in the case of uh, there are few colors actually where we add an additional e and there are few colors as well which do not changes in case of feminine here in color case so one example is black and black black contains e to make it feminine green all right normal green that is masculine green is called as black and the feminine green is called as black black Okay, so there is an additional E, that's why the sound comes out black. That's why the T pronounces here, but not in this case. So, uh, in the case of noir as well, we are adding an additional E. Alright, so these two are cases where we are additional, where we have an additional E to make it feminine, that is noir and noir. Noir and noir. In case of rouge, we don't need to add any additional E, the uh, masculine form of uh, color that is rouge comes here as well in the feminine case all right so it, it stays as it is also this as well it stays as it is as well blanc and blanche here we have an h, star, uh, h and e because we are making it feminine so we need some changes here all right here as well blanc and blanc we have an extra additional e blanc and blanc we have an additional e all right so let's move forward with some examples to make it more clear. Uh, let's take an example of a sac rouge. A sac rouge. A sac bleu. A sac bleu. That is a blue bag. Uh, if you are, you know, uh, if you are noticing something here, we have a noun that is sac, which is coming before the color. This is why in French we always write the noun before the color. That is, the noun comes first and then the color. But in English we call it as 
a blue bag that is a sac uh, it should be bloc sac but not in french in french we need to write we need to uh, very necessarily write the noun first and then the color all right en sac bleu okay not bleu sac en sac bleu in french all right en stylo en un stylo vert un stylo vert un green pen now comes before the color all right let's take an example of a feminine color as well une gomme rouge that is a red color eraser all right here's the noun which is coming before the feminine color that is rouge rouge and there is a uh, i mean the eraser which is coming before the color always it's it's a case of always that whenever there is a noun it comes before the color and then after the noun there is a color all right yun gom rouge all right yun robe yun robe is a noun and what color dress we want jean jean feminine color because we have a feminine it i mean there is nothing very very complicated here that there is nothing uh, changed here in case of jean if there is a feminine i mean there is a masculine noun also then we have to write the jean and if we have a feminine noun we have we are having the color that is jean as it is because there is no changes in jean case and in rouge case all right so let's move forward with some more colors and some more examples of some different colors there is a there is a list of basic colors but now we are moving forward to some different colors as well let's move forward so let's proceed with some more colors other than the primary colors so let let's look at them as well rose that is pink rose it's it is same in feminine form as well it is similar rose and rose that is pink color maho maho that is maroon color and it is also similar in uh, the feminine case that is maho orange 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 is orange color and it is similar in feminine as well these three that is all of three all three of them is similar in case of feminine and uh, masculine and feminine as well if there is no difficulty in, the, in these cases of colors orange orange green green grease grease that is gray color green grease violet violet that is violet color but violet 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 all right so uh, let's repeat once again on the next rose rose marco marco orange 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 green 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 violet 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 all right so now we have some plural cases of the colors and these all cases we have already learned in the case of singular feminine and singular masculine but now we have the cases of uh, masculine plural and masculine feminine all right so let's uh, have a look at them and uh, mind my pronunciation here because the things look different and yes it sometimes pronounce the same as well uh, but yes we need to mind the pronunciation here because it it seems like that it is simple but it pronounced differently all right so let's have a look at it masculine plural form of yellow is jaune 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 it's similar in here uh, in the case of yellow as well rouge rouge it's also same here rose 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 there is no pronunciation of s here all right we are adding an additional s uh, it 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 stays Uh, as it is in the case of feminine, trio, and 
in case of masculine PDPO as well, all right. But we need to add an additional S because we have the cases of plural in this uh, this part of the video, all right. So yes, blue. This is the uh, masculine plural blue, 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 blue. No changes in pronunciation. Wah, wah, wah. Well, there are also no changes in pronunciation. Noir, 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 gris, 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 gris. Right, so this is grey color. Blanc, blanche, blanche avec additional e and s because the case is feminine plural. In feminine, we add h and e. But in feminine plural, we are adding an additional s as well. All right, blanc, blanche, violet, 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 marron, marron, orange, orange. Remember always these two never changes. These two remains as it is, as it is in the case of English. In case of feminine, in case of masculine, in case of plural, it remains similar. That is, marrow and orange remains as it is. They never changes. All right. So let's move on to move on to some examples of plural to make it more clear. All right. Plural cases. All right. Le livre. Le livre. Vert. That is the green books. All right. Uh, as we have already studied, that the noun comes before the color. Color here is masculine plural. All right. Masculine plural. Why? Because the libre is masculine, and also it is the plural case of the noun. All right. Le Cruz, le. This is the case of right, feminine, plural. Great, that is good that you are knowing it. The noun comes before the color. Cruz is the pencil box. Pencil box is plural here, and also it is feminine case of noun. Uh, that is feminine noun. Yes, any. Uh, the blue pencil box. All right. We are taking uh, this case here because the noun is feminine plural. All right. With an additional e and s to make it plural. And uh, let's take one more example of le uh, le calculatrice le calculatrice blanche. That is the white calculators. All right. This is the case of feminine noun plus it is plural as well. All right. Le calculatrice blanche. So we are hence we are adding h, e, and s as well because there is a case of feminine noun in plural form. All right. Feminine noun in plural form is having blanche. That is H E N S. Okay, I hope it's way more clearer now because I am writing the example side by side. That's all for today. If you really like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you really want to purchase the whole course, the full course with language fluent, you can always go into the description box right below my video. There is a form you can fill it, and then you can enroll for the full course. Also, there is a number given below, right below my video, and you can contact on those numbers, those contact numbers as well. And also, we offer the translation and interpretation services as well. You can go for them as well. All right, thank you so much. Over, bisu bisu.